everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here it's great to have you join this small youtube family so in this video i'm going to be talking everything ikea frames so if you watched my decennio video you will know that i have lots of prints and I have used IKEA frames to put them in so I've got different styles I've got different sizes so I just wanted to dedicate a whole video to the frames just in case you are thinking about purchasing some frames from IKEA and showing you all that you want to know about frames before we get into all of that, don't forget to hit that red button, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss a video with me. So yeah, let's get down to the show and tell. So guys, this is the first frame and it's in the 13 by 18 and this is the cheapest frame that they have on ikea this was just 50p the frame itself is a bit flimsy but i guess you get what you pay for it's still still good it's got the plastic so ikea frames are just in the um plastic sort of clear material and just so you can get a close-up is it going to focus so it is in like i said this thin type of um style this is the oh i didn't even mention the name but it's the yalvid i will put all the names because they are scandinavian and i can't pronounce them okay so moving on to the next frame this one's in the 21 by 30 and this is my favorite frame i will show you in a second all the other ones that i've got in this style but this is my favorite frame oh that's a bit of a tongue twister favorite frame from ikea um and let's just get that in there so again it's in this thin type of style and i just think this is an absolute classic frame it is gorgeous this is a better better quality than the the first one that i showed you guys and um, again it's in that that plastic so if you've got kids um or you're a bit clumsy like myself this is really good um because if it falls on the floor or anything like that it's not going to to smash if i flip it over so it's got really good quality um i'm not sure what the official name of these are called but to um put the picture in the frame all you've got to do is press this down if it works now and twist it and then to put it back in you just press it down and it just then connects to the side of the frame this frame is in the lum vegan i'll put the name on the screen again um but yeah this one is my absolute favorite it is to die for and if you're looking um for some frames i would say this one i would highly 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 recommend because it is super super gorgeous i have it here i've also got um that style up here as well absolutely gorgeous it's just a classic frame and they do do it in other colors as well so all the frames that i've got are in just the black color but that's just because of the the decor of my room i also have it in um this style here so guys this is the third ikea frame that i've got and this one is in the Ribia, so I can pronounce that one, thank God. So this is in the Ribia style, and this is in the 30 by 40. So this is my second favourite frame, so um, I would recommend this one as well. It's just a lot thicker in terms of um, the style, whereas the previous one is a lot thinner but this one is well made the back of it is slightly different so instead of um the press down sort of version you just flip that bit up anyway and you just press it down so it's easily um to put in this all the frames do come with um the hook for you to put on the wall this one has a bit more of a vintage sort of style in terms of 
how thick it is but it's still gorgeous nonetheless so yeah i've got the river in the larger size so the last type of frame that i have and it is just in this cap nug like I said, I'll put it on the screen because my pronunciation is completely off. But it's just this catnug um, frame. And this one isn't necessarily my favourite. I've got it in this style for this um, photo and this print. And then I also have it um, for this one as well. So what I'll do is I'll just bring that down so that you can see. So this is in the 30 by 40 again. This frame, um, as you can see, it has this style where it is slightly indented. And I don't know, I just don't really like this frame as much as the other ones. Um, I just don't know, there's just the style of it. I'm just not completely um sold on and for the style that i like this one isn't necessarily my favorite style so just to flip it over again it's like the river um in terms of this bit here you just flick that up to to put it down um, and to keep the picture in place and it also does also have the hooks on them i think you can see it a bit better like this just that style i just prefer when it's a lot smoother um i just think it looks a lot slicker when it's like that I do them in lots of different sizes so although so for example if you wanted this one in like the 13 by 18 or you wanted the um river in a different size you can get it in any size that that you want so guys i am sitting down again oh my god i have done so much filming today but just wanted to say bye so i wanted to sit down and yeah say goodbye to you guys um those are all the frames that i have purchased so i can do reasonable frames and they look absolutely stunning so if you've got some prints that you know you're looking for some frames or you're not sure which one to get hopefully this video was useful for you so i'm gonna sign out now because it is a piping hot i just want to take everything off and just yeah cool off make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss another what's all of this so you don't miss another day in the life with shan and i shall see you in my next video guys bye